I was actually the first woman that the Tribune Company out of Chicago hired in 150 years. And that was a company that was led by Colonel McCormick, and that was back in the publishing days when you had uh, Colonel McCormick and you had uh, William Randolph Hearst and you had the big publishing railroad moguls. And they wrote a handbook, and the handbook was the leadership will be an Irish Catholic white male of six foot two, and you are never to hire a woman. That was actually a footnote in the book. And uh, the company pretty much stood by that uh, for 150 years until I came along. I was building television stations and I was building UHF stations, which were kind of unique. And um, I think they decided it was time to hire a woman. So I was brought up to the top of the uh, Tribune Tower overlooking the Wrigley Building. And uh, I was basically asked by the chairman of the company why they thought I should, they should hire a woman. And I told them after 150 years, didn't they think it was about time? And we had a good laugh and a great handshake, and that was the beginning of kind of that glass ceiling breaking. And I was in charge of the, the television station that they bought here in San Diego, and turning it around and hopefully becoming the Fox affiliate, which we did. We also had, were in charge of starting a whole new news, and that news was one targeted to younger viewers, 18 to 34. And that age group just didn't watch news. So uh, the model was to find the audience on set that would be most like the people watching because people like to watch who they can relate to. And so that's what we did and that's pretty much a model you use today throughout the country in the kind of people that you see on camera today delivering news. And it is reaching a much younger audience which is very good for everyone. Well, I have always been focused on women. And I was lucky enough to meet Senator Dianne Feinstein. And we had a conversation, and in that conversation I found out that her brother had breast cancer. And I had also had breast cancer at a very young age, at 27. So in that conversation, we developed the first breast cancer postal stamp. And in that relationship, I was very young. I learned from Diane how important it was when you meet somebody that's a powerful woman, share your story and do it quickly. You'll make a connection that can be invaluable. Look, believe it or not, I used to be shy and it doesn't get you anywhere. So um, you need to pull yourself out a little bit and you'll always find some woman that is going to help you, I guarantee you. I think in today, you're gonna find five women you will never be alone because women are more educated now, they're more confident now, they've done so many things in the workforce. It used to be they just had children. Now we've done so much. It's so easy to find mentors. And that's something that I hope I will be until I am foot in the grave, a mentor to young women. I like women that are enthusiastic about something and they follow through on a daily basis. They don't give up, they're tenacious. But they do it with a sense of pleasure and fun. You don't have to come across in the way I think, using the B word, maybe women felt they had to come across 20, 30 years ago. I think we've let go of that and dressing like a man and being stern. Um, I think we can be who we are now. Uh, which is delightful. We can be pretty. We can have all those things, but we are also smart. Um, we have run our own companies when we have run households. Um, it's, that's a, anybody that's done that and also worked is their own CEO. Um, now it's just learning the, um, the business acumen and investing and finding the right investors um, and being diligent about that communication back and forth. So, um, and access to capital, that's Tatamount. I certainly wasn't gonna come here and teach anything. I come here to learn. So um, that's what I'm here for. And I've made valuable connections. I have seen incredible pitches by entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs. And, and I know now where I'm gonna go on some funds for angel investing that I didn't know 24 hours ago. So it's, it's, it's been awesome.